and welcome back to Matt the Groundhopper channel where today I'm off to the Super Jills drilling and playing Stockport County or third in the league currently so I was I was drilling them back in October of last year but I thought we'd to come and see the club again at home for the end of the season because since I was there in October of last year a lot has changed with the club I've got a new multi-millionaire owner from America I've got 11 new players a new director of football and bigger crowds and more positivity around the club so i wanted to see for myself the atmosphere um, because when i was there last year against barrow it was pretty doom and gloom and everyone was always accepting their fate of getting relegated out the league but that's hopefully not going to happen now um yeah so just on the train got a couple of stop offs to do meet a couple of friends later on I just want to share something with you on what I think could happen to Gillingham as a club. So I think Gillingham in the future could be a Premier League club if they have the right ownership and the right foresight. And before you start thinking I'm going absolutely crazy and mad, Gillingham as a town is within Medway. And if you don't know where Medway is, Medway is in North Kent. And Medway is made up of Gillingham, Rochester, Strood, Raynham and Chatham. The population of Medway is about 280,000. Also, you've got these sort of areas around North Kent as well. I've got these other football league clubs in Kent. When I look at sort of population size and catchment areas, I've got a list of um, towns here. And on my phone it says, the area of Medway and the population is approximately the same size as Newcastle and Stoke. And it's also bigger than Stoke, uh, sort of bigger than Southampton, bigger than Derby, Portsmouth, Brighton. So there's more people living in this area than the likes of Derby and Brighton. And Chillingham could, I'm not saying within five years, but they could one day, with a new stadium, play Premier League football. Because I remember Chillingham playing the likes of Bournemouth, uh, Wigan, and also sort of Brentford in League Two, only about 10 years ago. And look where sort of Bournemouth and Brentford are now. So let me know what you think. I think Jills could be, in the future, a Premier League club with a new ground, with the catchment area that we have. I really think that team could do it. Let me know, comment. Do you think Jules could be a Premier League club in the future, within 10 years, with a new ground? Okay. Welcome back, Groundhoppers, and we're just now walking to the ground. Got old Danny boy with me today, here he is. Hello. You might remember him from the old Jules Barrow game back in October. We just had a couple of points <laughs> down at the, was it the Britannia pub? It was the Britannia. See you late night, the Britannia pub in Gillingham High Street. And we're now walking towards the ground to meet a second friend, Big Kev. So there's going to be three of us today. It's a first for the channel, but yeah, uh, about half out till kickoff. I can just see the ground in the distance. Come on, Jules. Come on, you Jules. Come on, you Jules. <laughs> There we are, we've got Dan, Danny Boy and Big Kev from Ed's Fleet. So what do you reckon today? We're going home to Stockport County. Predictions on score, Dan, start with you. It's going to be tricky. Yeah. Uh, fighting for promotion, aren't they? But I've got a good feeling. I think feeling. they're third, they're third. Yeah. I've got a good feeling. But today? We always play better at home, don't we? Yeah. So score, prediction? One apiece. One apiece. Kev, That's Big Kev? One all. One all. New Alice might be nil nil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just for the Always record, yeah. Kevin's not a massive Neil Harris fan, but uh, yeah, so we're saying 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. I want to go for a 2-1 victory, so here we go. Always the positive man. I hope you're right, mate. Um, yeah. Should we go and get our seats? Let's do it. Let's do it.
Let's so get some early um, reviews, Kev. What do you think? Well, I knew it was good, didn't they? Yeah. Really, they, you know, positive McDonald's saved um, by the cold keeper's feet, wasn't it? So, yeah, yeah, I was surprised Hawkins isn't playing, but um, looking forward to the, you know, the rest of the game and hopefully we're going to get some goals. Yeah. Next to the Dan, early review so far? Nip and tuck at the moment, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Nip and tuck, you can't go on about it. Well, we had a chance, didn't we, like? The goal keeper's saved at the moment. It's crappy at the moment. Game's not settled. <laughs> Still nil nil with what? Um, Nine minutes gone. Nine minutes gone, nil nil. So we've got a break in play, so we're going to get a bit of expert analysis. Kev, so far, thoughts? Well, they've had uh, more chances, more of the ball. Um, they probably had the best chance, but overall, I'd say they've shaded it so yeah. far. They're very, very physical, they're a big team as well. But uh, New Arrow should be happy, we've got a clean sheet. Maybe he can keep it nil nil to the end of the game. Yep, Dan? Quick analysis so far of the game. So it's been quite tight. They they look quite a good side. Um, the top, the top, you can strong. tell the, you can tell the top three. They've been so, strong side. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're doing all right so far. Well, Jules, Jules had two. We've two had the best two clear cut yeah, chances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we can do it. Are we gonna win? I think we're gonna win. Yeah, Kev, we're gonna win. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Mr. Negative Kevin and then positive down on that, but it's still nil nil. About 20 minutes left, Kev. What do you reckon? 20 minutes? Yeah, it's looking good. The game's got much more open because obviously they've conceded, they can't come forward. Yeah. Um, but I'm confident because they. You know, um, they've definitely turned in the second half. It's quite a lively second half, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah, yeah. Much yeah. Game much it needed a goal. Yeah, yeah. It needed a goal from us, ideally, because now they are coming out. Yeah. Because Jim and them wouldn't have come out quite as much as they have. Yeah. So, um, no, we're looking, looking yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Dan? So, what do you think? Second half so far? Yeah, I think uh, Q's got a deserved 1 0 lead to yeah, this. Yeah, it's been the liveliest side. Yeah, but more likely to score again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because they've been a bit. Stockport have had a few shots thrashed over the bar, but they haven't really been able to move on target, have they? So, it's pressure, or no. I think Q's probably good value for the 1 0 at the moment. Q's on the attack again, aren't like, they? There we go. Uh, Even yeah. way, those people at the top of the back. Oh, yeah. Hey! Well, they're not
well, Stockport have just equalised in the 88th minute. Kev, has it been coming, do you think? Yeah, I think it's a nice. deserved to be in front. We've just taken off our man the match, in my opinion, <laughs> Tom Nichols. But then again, that's our manager for it. So. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't one, see one. that. 1-1. Bit of a blow. Yeah. Bit of a blow. One thoughts on Stockport's goal. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? It's mate. Yeah, it's just it annoying, isn't it? It deserve it. Just a uh, bit, bit rubbish defending, to be honest. We've got about a minute left and a bit of injury time. You know, we could claim a last minute goal, but uh, just on the attack now. So we've taken off the best player, mate. So, oh, no. <laughs> There we go, full time. It's Gillingham 1, Stockport County 1. Disappointing, really. I thought Jules could have won that, so it feels like it's two points dropped. Danny Boy still with me. What do you reckon, Dan? Robbery, mate. Robbery. Robbery. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like a bit of um, two points dropped, definitely, isn't it? Like, yeah? mm. So, a bit annoying, really. But... Yeah, Jules was a better team, to be fair. Yeah. Kev, big man still here. What do you reckon, Kev? Well, it's such a late goal, it's disappointing, but overall, I've enjoyed probably about a fair result. Yeah, it's um, good game. Game, yeah, yeah, it was a good game. It's, um, it feels like we're going to score goals now, <laughs> like when we come back in October, then, isn't it? When, oh, mate, it's you know, different team, altogether, different team yeah. yeah. But yeah, exactly. it's all about next season now, isn't it? Just yeah. make sure we just stay above the relegation zone, which I'm sure we will, and it's all about building for next year. But final score here is 1 1. And before I forget, if you like the channel, what do you do, Dan? Subscribe. Subscribe and like. Like and comment, and also follow me on Twitter. And I will see you next week at my next ground with my ground hop in. Bye for now. Kills.